Hi guys, I am Refashioned Hippie and I am very excited. Um, one of my favorite donators just gave me four trash bags and a box full of stuff. The last time she gave me some donations, I went through it and the video was over an hour and a half long so I didn't post it because I just thought who's gonna sit there for an hour and a half. Um, so I have decided to divide up the donations she gave me to show you guys in pieces what you can get if you start accepting donations from your friends and neighbors. So tonight it's all about shoes um, and I have to be fairly stationary because Bones has decided to stay here despite imploring and food and nothing. No, Bones wants to be right here. So he will be our guest this evening. Um, so I'm just gonna start off with the first things I have. Now, let me tell you, I am not a perfect shoe person. Um, I know clothing brands a lot better than I know shoes. So what I'm gonna do is just look at these and describe them to you and then up in this corner, give you the price that I'm going to list them for. Um, so you future people will know what I can make off of this, but I'm very excited that it starts with zero. Goose egg, you have nothing. No money has been invested in this other than the gas it took to get a block up for my house. So first pair of shoes um, are in really good condition. You can see those soles down there. These are from Olukai, which is not a brand I am too familiar with. They look like they're water shoes almost, like given the perforation around here, those little holes are called perforations. Um, and I'm really liking the elastic that looks like it's pull ups. So I'm gonna look these up. Um, but again, left hand corner, you will see they are a men's, I think 11, uh, which is my husband's size. And he's already told me he wants these, but I always wanna tell you what they would be worth if I sold them. And this buyer is so great because everything that she gives me is in like perfect condition. Um, case in point. So these are Vans. These are absolutely new, really nice gray, perfectly clean. I mean, there's nothing on the sides down here. So I would probably say I won't list these for less than 40 to 50, but again, gonna be up there. I'm trying so hard not to move this cat. Okay, these are women's. These are from Franco Sarto. Sartro? Sarto. Franco Sarto. I, I write it down. I never have to say it. Um, but really cute pull on. These are called Chelsea booties. And I love this elastic here on the side. Very nice burgundy. These have probably the most wear that I've ever seen on something she's given me. And it's like zero wear at all. So just that bit on the bottom. So these are really, really great. Um, Franco Sartre I've sold before, so I would probably list these at like 35 to 40. Um, and again, all of the numbers that I'm giving you right now, um, I'm willing to take offers. I never have an, a problem with that. So I list a little bit high, but I do take offers. So it does bring it down a little bit. These are from Tommy Bahama, really nice men's boat shoes. And once I clean those soles up, these are going to look, I mean, almost brand new. Uh, the only wear on this is just that little bit of dirt on the soles. So these are in really, really great condition. All right, these are from Under Armour. They are Charger shoes. And these, I mean, I, I know that they're gray. I'm gonna have to clean these up a little bit just because of some dirt on them. But like, again, the soles look absolutely perfect. I think these were just his gym shoes. Um, these say they are Charger seven millimeter offsets. So I am excited to look this up and know what they're worth. You guys will know ahead of time. Um, but again, nice, nice pair of men's shoes. And Under Armour, I live in the land of Under Armour. Maryland is Under Armour everywhere. Um, I have three Under Armour stores within like a 10 mile radius, <laughs> like so much Under Armour. So I love getting Under Armour because in this community we're flooded with it, but it sells really well online. Um, what are you? These are a little bit more worn. You can see from the bottom, but these are Asics flight foam. And let me just say to all of the clothing manufacturers who put the style on the shoe or on the piece of clothing. Thank you. Saves me so much time. Um, but yeah, these are another good pair. Uh, yeah, these have definitely been worn a little bit more, but they've still got a lot of life left in them. So whatever I list them for is probably going to be about 20% less than what I would list if they were in newer condition. But again, just solid pair of shoes. So 
Sorry, bones. Uh, these are from Rebox, and I'm really excited about these because, again, there's practically no wear on those at all. Really, really good condition on these. And I love when you get a mix of this leather with suede. I'm a personal fan of that. I just really, really like that. These are very stylish. Uh, yeah, so again, I'm going to look this up. Price will be up there. And the last pair in the first box is from Sperry. Always a good sign. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting in with laces. Uh, oh, they're men's. Okay. Sperry men's. I love this color. That's a more unique color than I've seen because this is a pretty common kind of shoe, but I love that color. That's just a lot of good detail there. All right. So that is the first box. Uh, the next, I think, is going to be they're men's shoes as well actually I think all of these are men's I'm sorry oh oh that's oh okay I made him mad okay all right so now I have a trash bag full of shoes very excited all right the first ones Ooh. okay these are from Clark's and I am not ashamed to tell you these are nice suede pieces that I know these are Oxfords, uh, not Brogues, because Brogues would have, <laughs> I learned that from a movie. Um, but yeah, nice suede, brown suede. Again, really, really good condition there on the bottom. Um, and again, I just want to encourage you, if you're not accepting donations, consider giving it a shot because I would say 80 to 90% of what I sell comes in as donations. If you need help with how to start that conversation, because I know it can be a little awkward, get my book. It's on Amazon. I have a couple of chapters devoted to it as well as a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to help you resell clothing. Um, but this is all great. And this woman consistently gives me clothing. I would say about every season, like once a season, she gives me four to six trash bags full of clothing and I make thousands of dollars off of her donation. And she thanks me. She thanks me. All right. Next one. These are from Bass. It's like, it's like a felted wool on the outside. I'm gonna look these up. Um, and again, the only wear is that bit on the bottom. I personally, I don't wash every single shoe that I get. Um, like these are pretty much indoor shoes. So I think this is an acceptable amount of dirt. Um, if I expect to charge more for an item, I will definitely clean it. Something like that, I might not clean. Let me know how you feel about that. I just think, you know, my time is valuable. And if I spend half an hour selling a pair of shoes, or sorry, half an hour cleaning a pair of shoes that I'm gonna end up selling for like $15, that's not worth it for me. Whereas something that I'll sell for $50 to $80, I will definitely clean it. But I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Um, all right, these are in wonderful condition. These are from Rebox. They're saying they're flash film. And it is rare to find a white shoe in good condition. I think y'all know that. So this is making me very happy. Again, I will put the price up here. I don't know what I'll make from this, but I'm thinking it looks good. All right, uh, next up, all right, these are from Body Glove. Um, and again, very minimal wear down there. These are definitely a water shoe. Um, got that perforation there. And again, because I live in Maryland, I get a lot of water shoes, but it's, it's always something, it's like something that everybody has three pairs of in their house if you live where I live in Maryland. Uh, so these are pretty valuable and I like body glove. I think they actually make a nice shoe. So again, price will be up there. I don't know yet. Ooh, are these me sized? <gasps> Y'all they're me sized. Okay. So these are lucky brands. I think they are super cute. And this is another wonderful example of perforated leather. So it's leather that's got those holes punched in it. Little bit of a heel. And again, only minimal wear. Um, so these, I can tell you, I would probably sell for 30, probably list for 30. I will say list for 30. All right. And last pair of shoes. Ooh. Okay. So these are Adidas. We know that right away. Um, let's see if there's, oh, and for anybody who doesn't know, so on the tongue of the shoe here, it tells you a lot of valuable information. Um, the size is right up there. If you need to look up the specific style number. It's going to be next to that hashtag number sign. That's something that I use a lot because on sites like Mercari and Poshmark, you are able to use 
um, stock photos. Poshmark says that you're not allowed to, but the company itself is fine with it. I've done the in-store reviews and they have no issue. Um, so that is really helpful to get one initial photo that's just really, really good. And then all of the other photos, in my opinion, should be of the shoe that you are actually selling. Um, but that just, it puts those eyeballs right on your object. So that's the fastest way, in my opinion, to look up everything about a shoe. Because then you can also look at the description of the shoe. You can take all of the pieces that you need, fill in whatever else you have. Um, so that is really good to have on the tag. It will also tell you when they were released. So these, for example, say... 1215, so they were released December of 2015. And for that, they're still in great condition. Um, but sometimes that's valuable to know if it's something like Nike that might have done a limited run and people want to know, that's good information to have on your shoes. So that is my shoe haul. I am very excited about this. Again, you future people will know from the title of this how much I think I will actually make selling these. But I'm just going to say it again. If you do not accept donations, it's definitely worth it. Um, this woman has become an amazing donor of mine, um, and I've made thousands of dollars from her very, very generous donations. But like I said, she thanks me. She thanks me for coming to her house because it is performing a service for people. You're taking the stuff they don't want and getting it out of the house. And for anyone who's a thrifter like me, I mean, I think you know how valuable that is to clear up space that you've been wanting to clear up. And it's truly a cornerstone of my business. So thank you guys again for watching. Uh, the next couple videos will be more pieces that she donated to me. I cannot wait to go through them. Um, and if you guys are interested in shopping anything from my closet, please tune in on Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturdays, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing posh shows both of those days. Hopefully, now until the end of time, um, I found that I really love doing paw shows, but thank you again for stopping by. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do some math. Bye guys.